out here in Deschutes. We're, uh, I guess it's an annual tradition now. We just go camping with our friends Dylan and Tessa on Dylan's birthday. So um, we're on a little forest road right now. They've already got a spot out on a little lake and we're pretty stoked. It's a beautiful day, a little windy. We had a uh, hell of a time driving up here. We had about two extra hours of traffic. So we're supposed to be here a lot earlier, but oh well. Can you, Can you get your... Porter. <laughs> Porter! Is it cold? It's wonderful. Sweet. Yeah. Really yeah, we'll, we'll get the paddle boards blown up. And... Heck yeah, dude. It's there. <laughs> All right, finally seeing the new digs in person. So cool. Mostly hard walls. Knock knock. Close your tailgate. You can see how like. You should have cleaned up. You knew I was coming to film you. Feel like a child. Sweet. Dude. So nice. We must record. YouTube is life, Dylan. We, we must get the views. Get the content. I live for the views. Where's the content? Welcome to another episode of Kim's Not Very Good Outdoor Cooking Show, where I am slow cooking chicken. Not in a slow cooker, it's just windy, and trying to use a Coleman when it's windy is pretty painful. So I'm hoping we should have dinner maybe around tomorrow. So. I hope you're not too hungry. We'll be waiting a while. Cook! Cucumba. Cucumba. If you're watching this video, it's because I have passed because a thousand years have gone by since I started cooking that chicken long ago. I just hope if you find this video, you don't make chicken my legacy. Does your husband never not face the back of the Coleman towards the wind so that it'll block it and the propane is too heavy to move and it's just a whole mess. And then you're like, I'm taking my husband back to the husband's store. This one's no good. Trade them in or get a refund or something, I don't know. Let's start workshopping uh, baby names for Tessa's baby. Cause I mean, by the time this chicken is done cooking, she definitely will have given birth. So I feel like now's a good time to start workshopping name ideas. I'm thinking like Farquad for a boy. Farquad, it's stately, maybe. Maybe Greta Gerwig for a girl. I'm bored. Turns out I won't be naming Dylan and Tessa's baby because when I told them that I came up with names for their baby, they said, oh no, not a good sign. Do you guys ever blame your husband? And then you're like, I could have solved this problem myself, but it was just easier to not. I'm not going to the husband's store. It's like a 45 minute drive. We are almost at the finish line. The chicken is very close to not no longer being a health hazard. It's a good thing. The chicken is done. But those ATVs aren't. Ruining camping. Chicken. Chicken. And it is finished. It only uh, took 700 years. I thought it would take a thousand, 
but it only took 700, so it's a win-win. Cucumba? Cucumba. Cucumba. Or just onion? Um, I'll look cucumber. Really? Yeah, just a little bit. Somebody's feeling a little spicy today. Well, thank you. You're welcome. wondering where Cooper was all morning and I found him down here splish splashing in the water. sandwiches going on this morning we got the jimmy dean all natural whatever that means you gotta have the mayo the eggs the cheese and the avo all right breakfast sandwich i mean Hey, Porter. Come on, bud. Hop in the water. Let's go. Oh, Tessa's way out there. What you doing, bud? <laughs> He's like, get me out of this thing. <laughs> it was so nice to be able to go up into a mountain lake in Oregon and feel comfortable swimming. This is easily the first time we've ever been able to just hang out in the water. There's a few other lakes that we've gone to and swam at, but you know, after 30 minutes or so, you get a little bit cold. If you couldn't tell by now, our neighbors were quite noisy, so... After a little bit of swimming, we decided to walk down the road and check out a few of the other small lakes in the area, and we were greeted by some fantastic Central Oregon views. And not to mention the lake was pretty cool as well. Scale of two, how's the birthday camp? Mm. Go like 1.7. Wow, all right. Yeah. Minus 0.3 for the paddleboard blown up. Or, <laughs> yeah. or the, the noise yeah. of the, the yeah. neighbors. That, that's the, the neighbors are kind of, yeah. you kind of ruin it. Not ruining it, not at all, but they're just loud. They're, they're they are loud. loud. It's not peaceful and quiet. Anymore. Yes, we usually try to get away from people, but yeah. when you have this. No, like, this is great. Yeah. It, it's worth. Uh, I can I can deal with it for 
for this. Absolutely. Dylan, are you about to get ready for your paddleboard yoga? Oh, totally. <laughs> wow. Really practice. That was so brief. <laughs> Just like a half downward like dog. dog. <laughs> that was a half dog. Stan over here. How many people do you think are over there? That's gotta be at least 20. At yeah. least. Several motorhomes, box trucks, trailers, all of their toys. Well, as you can tell, it's very sunny out here. We've been absolutely chill, chilling on the lake today. Just sitting out in the water. Enjoying some paddles. This is what summer camping's all about. It ain't too bad at all. And I am probably about to go have a little charcuterie and maybe take a little namic hammock namic cap? Namic cap. I'm gonna take a little namic cap. Tim is out there on the paddleboard. Enjoying the lake. This place is gorgeous. Really happy with it. We got a real loud crew over here though. They won't shut up. Been ripping four wheelers and crap all day. Kind of balances out with the, uh, the incredible lake, so. It's time for a little shark coot. Don't worry, this isn't all for me. All right, well, we are all properly zonked for the day. Full day of swimming out on the lake. Took a little hike. Cooper might have uh, been slightly attacked by a broke the baby dogs. Porcupine broke the puppers. Cooper may have found a porcupine somewhere in the woods. You are disgusting. <laughs> You're so gross. And uh, Porter's disgusting. Money boy. I think we're just gonna take it easy. Maybe maybe sit around the fire here in a minute. Eh? A bit of whiskey. Fire, yeah. Get the thermosel out. Ooh, a little whiskey. Yeah. A little, birthday a little birthday bourbon. A little birthday bourbon. That's a real man's fire right there. Real man's fire. That's, that's how you make a fire. <laughs> that's, that's how you during, do it. During, during fire restrictions, because we're responsible. Oh, I bet. Oh, it gives me anything. And I can't stop watching them. <laughs> I think we've got a problem. I know, I'm addicted to it. Just really great when your neighbors blast, uh, music 
at 8 a.m. It could be. All right, Dylan and Tessa are gone. We're just chilling here by the lake, having some coffee. We had the joy of waking up to really horrible, like, pop country. And it's getting a little smoky outside. Um, I don't know if you can see it, it's starting to go a little hazy, AQI is going up. We're going to stay and maybe swim, but we kind of don't want to get stuck in the smoke. So we are going to go grab some breakfast instead. Um, we're also out of water. Now, we will leave you with this beautiful image of this wonderful lake. All right, see you guys later.